bit of uh, Jamulus just so I can connect in front of people. Oh, yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, welcome to a, a live stream where we're going to be doing some online music making in real time. So, uh, hopefully you can hear me and it's all going according to plan. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do some screen sharing so I can show you uh, various things to do with making music online and we're going to make some music online with uh, people in different parts of the country and indeed different parts of Europe uh, so share screen uh, let's see what we can do so uh, so we're going to show you a bit of PowerPoint first of all online music making so in terms of online music making uh, the one way of doing it is to be within the same building as the people you're making music with and we've done that in the music center with Dante uh, which allows you to have specialist hardware and you can connect computers together if they're in the same building or in a uh, in the same campus potentially um, but home online music making is very important here we are in early 2021 and uh, Jack Trip is one program which you can use to make music with people with really high quality um, lossless audio uh, but it's quite complicated to set up. Um, Jam Kazam is another option uh, it's free well it used to be free and now it's not free unless you just want to have four people um, or uh, four rehearsals a month something like that so there's rules about Jam Kazam and how much you can do unless you pay. Sonobus is another a bit of software that's easy to use, it's new. I'm not sure if it's as high uh, quality in terms of uh, being fast at getting the audio from A to B as some of the options, uh, but it exists and is worth trying. Um, but today we're gonna actually do live demos and that's a really exciting thing about today. Um, trying to do this uh, live uh, web streaming uh, so that people can see what's going on live, simultaneously connecting to people in different parts of uh, Scotland and beyond and making music. So today we're going to use Jamulus and Jamulus is great for making music without a metronome you just have to play uh, whatever you want to play with whoever you want to play it with and uh, unlike something like Zoom where you make music and uh, it takes a second to get to the destination or something and you end up with uh, horrible um, musical experiences where you can't play in time with each other. With Jamulus it really sends the audio as fast as possible um, to the destination and you end up being able to play in real time assuming you've got a good internet connection and various other things I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so We'll use Jamulus. It's probably the easiest thing for just playing with people. Um, and having going into public server is the easiest way of getting started. And if you do that, you can make music with people. Other people can join you from um, anywhere in the world, potentially. Uh, but yeah, the best results are likely to be people in the same country as you. Um, yeah, so once we've done a demo of Jamulus, um, we're going to go and do a demo of Ninjam um, as well. Uh, Ninjam has a metronome built into it and it's quite mind-bending uh, as you will see. But Jamulus is the first thing we're going to demo. So what do you need to be able to do this? You need a good broadband internet connection, you need to have an Ethernet cable um, and uh, you need to have a computer which has an Ethernet port or you need to get a, a adapter, an Ethernet adapter, which is like a dongle that takes the Ethernet into your computer um, via USB or um, uh, some other interface. Um, and then external audio device, very useful to have an external audio device. Uh, various brands make good ones. 
Um, the important thing is that you can actually, um, well, attach a microphone to an external device that goes in by USB to your computer. Um, sometimes the internal sound cards in Macs or whatever can just about cope with uh, Jamulus and such like, but uh, you generally want to avoid uh, USB microphones because uh, they tend to be, you know, for podcasting and stuff and less good for real-time music at the moment in 2021. Um, but, uh, you know, better ones are on the way, no doubt. XLR cable to connect to uh, the audio interface, uh, to the microphone, that's important. And then getting wired headphones is important. Don't use Bluetooth um, at the moment. That doesn't work. Uh, so it takes too long. Okay, switch off your Wi-Fi. That's an important thing when you're using the Ethernet to make sure that everything's going to be fast. Okay, so there's what the back of a home router might look like. You've got these uh, Ethernet ports. So you plug in to that. Uh, you might find you need to put a cable um, from A to B. Uh, sometimes you have to do these things to uh, make music in the room you want to make music in. I've got a 20 meter Ethernet cable. Um, it goes into the computer, um, perhaps on Thunderbolt or uh, USB. Sometimes a computer will have an Ethernet port to plug this Cat6 cable uh, straight in. And then you have a sound card. So whatever your sound card looks like, this is an example of one uh, that uh, you can use. Um, sometimes you might need to switch on 48 volts if it's a condenser mic. But yeah, uh, I'm not going to talk lots about that at the moment. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually uh, have a go uh, using this software. So let's pop into uh, the Jamulus. I'm going to uh, just... Uh, disconnect at the moment and show you how to use that. Right. So audio, audio, screen sharing, stop share. Okay. So at the moment, uh, you should still be hearing me and I'm going to go to Jamulus here. Uh, so Jamulus is software you download from the website jamulus.io. Uh, you click on, uh, you, you install the software, and then you open the Jamulus software. So here's Jamulus software. So in here, you've got various different settings. You can go to settings here and uh, choose your sound card. So if you're using a built-in sound card on a Mac, you might use this one, for instance. Uh, but I'm using a Fireface thing. So if you want to use... Um, a sound card, make sure you find the version which has got in your sound card name, out your sound card name. So do that. Um, these settings are fine. That setting's fine. Okay. Um, now, other th settings you need to know about, you can go to view my profile and then choose your um, information there about what instrument you play, all that type of thing, if you like. Set your name. Um, Right, what else do we want to do? Uh, we click Connect. And then you can see a bunch of servers. Uh, if you go to Default, you'll find lots of servers. So uh, you can go to All Genres. Uh, not a lot there. You go to Genre Rock. There's various ones there. You can go to Genre Jazz. Various ones there. And Genre Classical Folk. Various ones there. And custom doesn't have anything for me at the moment. Okay, so we're going to go to genre jazz today and in the key of Fife, which happens to have a low ping time. Um, so, yeah, there's the ping time is all about how many milliseconds it takes for the Internet to get information from here to the server. Um, so the lower the number, the better. You'll see that numbers less than 25 milliseconds are green, uh, bright green, which means that it's going to be usable. Um, probably for making music and we can make music with people you know in London Paris potentially um, gets a bit trickier when you get far away as far away as Italy um, and, and Germany and so on uh, less likely to work so well uh, United States that's going to be too much okay so the numbers which are below 25 are ideal um, but uh, bigger numbers you can manage and some of these, you know, are running on 
um, cloud servers, um, which can make it uh, really fast and well connected into the internet. So today I'm going to go to the queue of five and uh, click connect. So um, I just so happen to have organized for some people that I know to join me in this Jamulus room. So uh, they can't, uh, the, the stream can't hear them yet, but I need to make some changes to the sound settings so that we can hear uh, the musicians within the stream um, from uh, the Zoom uh, into the streaming. So I just need to change the sound settings. Uh, to do that, uh, I'll need to go to here and uh, uh, change that. Okay. When did they stop seeing screen screen share? I wonder. Sorry. Yep. Okay. So if I uh, go to disconnect for the moment, um, I'll just show how to connect up. So we're you're sharing screen. That's sharing screen still. So we're going to go to Jamulus and uh, and connect. So uh, in the key of five. Uh, we're going to go to connect to that and then we're in to there okay so now uh, you can see uh, that we've connected to this um, so i need to uh, change over the sound settings uh, so that uh, uh, so if i stop sharing the screen so i can change the sound settings i'll need to do that before uh, the the audio will be audible so yeah, this could all go horribly wrong, but I'm doing my best to make this work. So go to stop share for the moment in terms of screen sharing so I can change the sound settings. Okay, so uh, I need to change the sound settings to uh, the selector microphone, change that so that now uh, we should be getting the sound in to the stream. And I'll go back to screen sharing, good. Okay. Right. So I believe that I've now got uh, the system working so that when you make noise, um, Bede and Alex and Scott, uh, we should get some sound appearing into the stream. So can you make some noise, please? Hello. Hello. Scott, yeah? Hello. 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 Excellent. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to um, ask you if you could introduce yourselves. Um, now, can I check in? Uh, yeah, that's fine. So if I stop sh sharing my screen temporarily, I just want to check that your audio is coming into the stream because I can't do it very easily right now. Uh, OK, can you make some noise, uh, Bede? I shall introduce myself by the sound of my instrument. Excellent. <laughs> Right, we're back on screen sharing and I could see that that was triggering noise in the stream. So I know that people are hearing this at home, I think. <laughs> okay, excellent. Right, so let's introduce people um, and uh, say uh, who you are, where you're from, what you're going to do today. Uh, so could we start with Alex? Hi, uh, my name's Alex South. I'm a clarinetist living in Glasgow. Um, I, in normal times, would be traveling across to St Andrews to teach the clarinet students there. Um, I've been doing that uh, over mm -hmm. Zoom um, for the last nearly whole year now. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. Excellent. And Bede. Hi, yeah, I'm Bede, Head of Instrumental Studies and at the university, and I'm a trumpeter. And yeah, this, I'm, I'm absolutely, um, hats off to you, Jonathan, for um, being so gung-ho to try this amazing feat today. Looking forward to it. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining in because, uh, yeah, it wouldn't work so well without you. Okay. And Scott, um, say hello. Yeah. Hi, folks. Uh, I'm Scott Gardner and uh, I'm coming to you from Edinburgh today. I'm from Forfar in Angus originally and uh, I'm going to sing along with John uh, a Bothy Ballad, a, a Scots folk song later on. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so uh, essentially, um, you know, this means we can all hear each other and it's a lot uh, faster 
than Zoom. That's what we're all um, about today. So let's um, do a little bit of music to demonstrate it. So uh, we're going to do a bit of Red Red Rose. Um, are you ready with your instruments, guys? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, uh, playing live, um, no pre-recording, no metronome, uh, just making music, using the headphones so that the sound doesn't get into the microphone directly, so there's no feedback loops, there's no echoes. Um, if you turn down the uh, faders for yourself, you don't hear any echo from the server. Um, and. Uh, yeah, we should be, uh, but you, if you turn it up, um, you know, you do hear the echo from the server. That gives you an idea of uh, what sort of uh, time delay there is and any latency, uh, what the latency is uh, in terms of perception. But anyway, I'm waffling. Let's play some music because that's what it's all about. So um, I should mention that we're doing this in a live room. Therefore, if anyone goes on to Jamulus and goes to genre jazz uh, in the key of five server, uh, right now they'll end up in the room with us so anybody could join at any second um, and uh, that's all part of the excitement all right so here we go um, so I'll play an introduction <laughs> Thank you guys. So yeah, that's a bit of a inter-city music <coughs> um, live across uh, Scotland in different places. And yeah, I've felt very little sense of any delay between uh, you know me playing music and uh, them playing music. Uh, so yeah, it was great from my point of view to get this experience of you know playing with people all across the central belt of Scotland in this case. Um, there's slight sort of glitches in the sound quality sometimes and you can, you know, adjust that if you go to settings. Um, you can see how long it takes sound to get back and forth to the server for each uh, musician down there. Um, and uh, essentially, if you want to, you can increase numbers here, you can increase numbers here on the software to make it uh, less glitchy. but uh, if you leave it on automatic for the jitter buffer and have this kind of setting for the buffer delay, I find it tends to be pretty good choices as a compromise uh, between, you know, getting the audio there fast enough and uh, actually, uh, you know, getting good sound quality. So, um, yeah, it's better to have the odd glitch and to know you're getting the audio fast 
so that you can make music without slowing down. Um, what happens if you hear people with too much delay is uh, you just end up slowing down or falling out of time. Yeah, so how did you find that, Alex? How did you find it? It was good for me. Um, yeah, I mean, essentially it feels like playing in the same room. Um, I've done a lot of playing over Zoom and there's a, a good uh, second of, well, yeah, a round trip of at least a second in that and uh, this is amazing. But actually the audio quality is also much higher, um, which is uh, a big benefit. Yep. Absolutely. Okay, so we've got uh, someone joining us, HP from uh, Holland, is it? Uh, so I'm just going to turn down their volume in the listeners because we're in the middle of something. Uh, but uh, normally we're very well, uh, you know, keen on having people join us. Uh, thank you. So I'll uh, just uh, turn them down. Okay, so I should explain that you might see on my screen share I've got two versions of Jamulus. That's because one of them is acting as a listener to send audio into Zoom. But I'm not here to talk about uh, how to share to to web streaming today. I'm here to talk about how to make uh, music online. Um, so ignore this one. Uh, so yeah, on the left hand side we've got Jamulus running um, and uh, we can see the various different users who are logged on and everything. Brilliant! Okay, so yeah, probably time to have a bit of a bothy ballad vocal break. But uh, yeah, we should talk about bead actually first. How how's bead? Good. Yeah, I, I th this is uh, it's quite mind blowing really. Um, yeah, the first time that I tried this um, was last week with you, Jonathan. Um, and my exact uh, comments were the same as Alex's. It's it's really like we we are in the same room. There's yep. there's um, no detectable latency with that and of course that was a um a, a simple a simple tune um i i don't know whether i'll be mad keen on trying to play some stravinsky or something like that this way but um i think for 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 anything which is um of just be, beyond the most complex things i think this is incredible and as alex said the sound quality um is is really really surprising exceeds your what 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 you would expect um and it's it's very difficult to forecast a, a year from now um or two years from now when you think about how far this has come in the last six months i uh, jonathan we were talking about this six months ago and i think the software has um come on considerably um i i, I don't know whether you have thoughts about that but um a year or two from now this really is going to be transformative for um, how you workshop pieces working with composers Alex and I work a lot with composers and you know not going to be necessary to to, to um, get on a plane now um, but uh, to, to do those early stages of developing collaborations with other musicians or if you're just doing a reading session of a piece if you just want to familiarize yourself something do some pre-rehearsal um, this is going to have all sorts of incredible uses yep Absolutely. Cheers. Yeah, so um, that's, uh, yeah, I quite agree with all that. The different software, you know, some of it's been around uh, for a while, but it's only in the last year that it's uh, really um, suddenly been a talking point for a large number of musicians. And uh, the software developers have, you know, caught, caught on to the fact that uh, their products are suddenly being used all over the place and, uh, uh, and uh, are, are developing them. Uh, some more as well so yeah uh, th this um, system really great uh, for doing the audio um, okay so uh, yeah the Jamulus doesn't have video built in and still conducting online is uh, not really something that can be done easily uh, but uh, the the uh, actual playing of stuff uh, you know you can talk uh, a kind of conduction track to people but uh, you know, one thing I've seen is people using something like Zoom and then going in circles and you can lock on to the beat and change the speed of the beat by the speed of your circle as a conductor using Zoom and just muting Zoom and uh, using Jamulus for the audio, Zoom for some kind of vague sense of how fast things are moving. Oh, so that's a, a way of working that could potentially help um, with, with kind of conducting online. Um, but yeah. 
audio. Let's go for um, yeah. So thanks very much, Alex and Bead. Have you got any any last words on the topic before I go on to play some a song a song with Scott? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, yep. yep. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the invitation, yeah. and uh, looking forward to the rest of the chat. Awesome, thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Okay, so yeah, Scott. Yes, hello, Joe. Yeah, let's have a go of McFarlane. What key are you wanting today? G to A. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, McFarlane or the Sprots of Bernie Boozy. Is that right? That's it. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> Ah, for the time be tyrannies as I this while have been I'd rather run for here to burst with pies and death machine I'd rather die for a winter breathe and pine for a winter love And it's all because McFarlane married Susie Now Susie's conquered feather, my minds could never agree And I if an I'd gang out yon gate, he'd hung his dog at me So I sent my friend McFarlane down to see what he could do McFarlane o' oh, the sprots a burnie boozy I dinna like McFarlane, I'm safe in youth estate his lugs would cast a shadow out of socks for good. He's soft as any goblin, but he's glittery as a skate. McFarlane, oh, the sprots a burnie boozy. McFarlane spake no word for me, but plenty for himself. He raised the lassies, barley scones, their kibbuck and their kale. Glar feather roars out, sprotty man, finna try your hand yourself. The McFarlane o' oh, the sprots a burnie boozy Though McFarlane is a grim as chill for twenty mile run And the by his photograph the flag rotten's fae a tune He kiddled up his spunk at this and speared gin she'd come doon To be mistress o' oh, the sprots a burnie boozy I dunna like McFarlane I tell ye it's a fact He's an ace for splitting hailsteins in the humphy back His legs like gutter perka Elka step his knees gink knock McFarlane o' oh, the sprots o' burnie boozy He said he was baith able To play at cout the ladle We a laid her out a treacle cask And caught the kern for pie Another o' oh, his winners Was at sawdust mix we sinners With spice for metting hens at burnie boozy An educated ostrich fae the wilds of Timbuktu he had for scratting up his neep, so he had no them to poo. Well, I never heard the like of the one come out to any moo. But McFarlane, o' oh, the sprots, a burnie boozy. I dinna like McFarlane, it's awful, but it's true. A pewter spin was tint and chop McFarlane's moo. He could no wheel be grimmer, sups his porridge we a skimmer. McFarlane, oh, the sprots, a burnie boozy. Oh, a dirl, oh, the teeth ex nae particularly sweet, but love's the only pain on earth that ever got me greet. It's just like a little chill blend through your heart instead of your feet. The bra gravated by the sect of Susie. No swings and kind philosophers you've heard fit me befell. Never lip into the middle man, but do your work yourself. Or I'll bet my hen my sarket, you're a day ahead the market. As was I for a St. McFarlane round to Susie. I dunna like McFarlane, I'm fairly off a jock. I dunna like McFarlane or McFarlane's folk. May Susie be a turtle, but bring the chance her spartle. Do know the heat or chalk a burnie boozy. 
Yeah, okay, good, start. Yeah. <laughs> no, you bother. Awesome. Yeah, so how was that for you? How did it feel in terms of delay and stuff like that? I, it was good. Just just like uh, B.D. and Alex uh, said, uh, it, was, it was just like you're in the room. Uh, yep. I, I know it took us, well, we've, we've tried it a couple of times just over recent weeks, just getting the hang of it. And uh, I thought it was worth pointing out that I'm now on a much shorter Ethernet cable between the modem and the computer. Mm-hmm. And that seems to have saved us about uh, 20 milliseconds of overall delay. So it's gone down from about 90 mm-hmm. to about 70. So just to show that there are these things that you can do fairly simply to, to make a, quite a big difference in the delay. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, so I, I would say uh, theoretically a longer cable shouldn't make that difference. Uh, maybe we change the uh, the milliseconds in the, the buffer or something. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's a, a, you, you, we've got some, we definitely have got it, got it working really well. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, no, it's, it's brilliant. So, um, yeah, from my point of view, you know, there was a slight delay. I can just tell there's a slight delay. Sure. Um, and... Uh, you know, one of the things you have to do sometimes when you're on Jamulus is to make sure uh, that you don't slow down when you think the other person's <laughs> very slightly behind, yeah. um, because then it just has a kind of a, what's the word, a chain reaction of slowing down, yeah. uh, which then causes the thing to fall apart. So essentially, um, you know, it, it's not uh, not not that bad at all uh, today and uh, really, really good, um, but uh, there is that slight delay that you can just tell and just have to you know put out of your mind i guess uh uh, that there is a very slight delay but uh that's only apparent because we're doing a fast one you know um for slower tracks you really don't notice it at all um yep brilliant so thanks very much for joining us scott been very Mm, good no bother i'll i'll enjoy listening to the rest of it i'm sure yeah awesome yep so uh thank you so yeah uh uh, that was Scott Gardner joining us from Edinburgh, and now uh, we're going to try to connect um, on another bit of software altogether, uh, which rejoices in the name Ninjam. Uh, we're going to use Reaper, Reaper Digital Audio Workstation software, to achieve this with a bit of luck. Okay, so what we need to do, uh, we're still in screen sharing at the moment. Um, I'm going to go into Reaper, which is this bit of software here. Okay, so Reaper, you see at the bottom of the screen is that Reaper symbol. You can download Reaper from reaper.fm, the website. Um, It's not free software, but uh, if you're working at home during lockdown, it's free, as you will see if you go to the website. And the license is only like $60 or something. Um, So, yeah, a great bit of software. And uh, it has a kind of trial period anyway, and you can still evaluate after the trial period if you're not quite sure yet. Anyway, um, what I need to do is to show you how to use Reaper um, to work with Ninjam. So if I double click here, uh, we have um, a track, uh, or there's another way of getting a track. You can go to track menu, insert new track. Um, So I'm gonna set up Ninjam by going to FX here, Um, click on FX. Uh, we're going to go to where the effects area, we type Ninjam in here and see what the, uh, if I can spell, then we should be able to see Ria Ninjam, which is a plugin. Add that. Okay, and I'm just going to close this for the moment, uh, close these windows for the moment. So this track has got Ninjam running in it. I'm going to go to here, double click there, and call this track Ninjam. Okay. Next, uh, we need to make another track, and this new track is going to be an audio track. Um, So if we go to here, we could call this one guitar, if I can spell. Um, And uh, then, yeah, we're going to click on record enable. And you can see my signals coming up on my microphone here. Um, You can set your sound card and stuff in devices, preferences uh, area here, choose your sound card. Um, or options, preferences, and then audio device, and you can choose your sound card from the list. Okay. Um, Right, so then uh, when you've got Record Enable on a track, you can choose which uh, input you're on from here. Uh, Right, so that's a track that's running. Now, we want to make sure that this audio here 
uh, that's in guitar track gets inside the Ninjam track. So to do that, uh, this bit of software is a lot harder to use, as you can see, than Jamulus, but um, it can do something really weird and really cool, um, involving musicians from very far away, um, which isn't possible in any other uh, system I know of. So let's go to um, the this track here and make it bigger. You can make it bigger various ways, including the plus signs down here, zooms in to everything. Okay, so now, we, now it's bigger, you can see this plus sign when you float over the bottom of the Ninjam track, click plus. And now this track here is inside this track here. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is click, uh, the next step is to click this record monitoring button. Next to the record enable button, we've got our record monitoring button. And we need to click that. Now audio is getting in to a new one. Okay. So I should probably uh get myself a uh a listener here. Okay. That's fine. Uh yep, so now I've got the uh new one. Right. Uh what are we doing? Uh this one should probably should be up so uh but we have one should that's fine. Okay, so uh, basically this audio is now getting inside here. We don't have to have done this at the same time as the end. Um, that's not necessary. But uh, what we've got here is this uh, guitar track uh, running into the loops. Right, so it's going to be Hello, so sorry about the audio Sorry about the audio there. We just had a problem getting the audio working uh, from uh, Ninjam. Um, so I'll just uh, quit uh, the other one as well. Disconnect there. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me now. Uh, so the audio is all good now. Uh, what you can't yet hear uh, is uh, the Ninjam itself. So uh, in Ninjam, we have audio going out uh, from here. And we want to get it running into, so, so you can hear it. Um, it's more straightforward for me to actually get it working, but you won't be able to hear it at the moment. So I need to just change my audio settings um, so that we should be back in business. So select the microphone there. So hopefully you're not getting feedback now and you are still hearing me. Okay, so now I need to go back to, uh, now I need to go back to screen sharing, share, and this is a tricky business. Hopefully uh, you can still hear me and this time there's no feedback. Um, feedback, oh no. Share, uh, right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so hopefully you can hear me again now. Um, so the Ninjam thing is uh, proving uh, complicated. Uh, how do we 
get rid of that particular aspect of the feedback. So the speaker, yeah, okay. So if I change the speaker, Uh, okay, so that should be all right. Okay, so hopefully now I can actually change my sound card setting and not get feedback this time. Sorry about the delay. Uh, turn on the original sound and hopefully we can... Hopefully you can hear me now without horrible feedback, if we're lucky. Okay. So, um, I'm hoping that now we are good, uh, uh, no, can't hear it all, yep, okay, feedback, right, so uh, it may be that there's a fundamental problem to work through with actually getting the audio to come out of that. So this track here... is running uh, and what should happen is um, so now good okay so the audio is good at the moment uh, what might need to happen is uh, I'll just try uh, running it uh, with the audio like this okay so Essentially, what we're going to do is uh, show you how to join a Ninjam server. Uh, and uh, that's the, going to be the demonstration. Unfortunately, you won't be able to hear it very well uh, because when I switch on the audio from uh, the actual uh, Reaper into uh, Zoom, we're getting feedback. And I've not quite got to the bottom of that yet, as you can see. So apologies for the horrible noises there. Right, so let's uh, go to this area, Ninja FX. Um, so we click on that. We go to show via Ninja console. There we go. And now we're going to check here. We've got a, a channel which is showing up levels. Um, and then we're going to go to connect. So when we click connect, we get this big long list. And... Uh, we're going to go into one of these sessions here. So maybe we could go into this one. Um, and I'm going to message uh, my uh, partners in crime here, uh, the St. Andrew's Fusion guys. Um, so if I message them uh, with the information as to which session we're going to join. Uh, it's going to be number 2052. So, yeah. And then if I join that, connect. Uh, we're making noise with a bit of luck if I agree to the conditions. Uh, accept. And now there's a metronome happening. And uh, we're able to make music with the metronome. So at the moment, maybe you can just about hear that. So we've got uh, our friends joining us. Now I've sent them the information. Uh, Matus and Andreas are joining us just now. Um, so they'll be making noise. You can see that uh, Andreas is making noise uh, already. Hello. Now, when you're in Ninjam, you can change the uh, tempo by uh, typing into the area for chat. So you go to uh, exclamation mark vote uh, uh, and then BPM. And I'm going to go for 150. Uh, and that's changing the speed. Uh, and then we're going to go exclamation mark vote BPI. 100, what we're we doing, 64. Okay, so what does BPM, BPM is beats per minute and BPI is beats per interval. Um, and that's how much this um, uh, metronome is counting up to, essentially. Um, and uh, 
we're going to make some music um, to this metronome. And because the different people in different places, um, this is working so that everyone's hearing a latency of 64 beats, which is exactly right for doing some pieces of music, like a jazz standard, which has a loop. Um, so this has got uh, 16 bars of 4-4. Four, four. And we're going to have a go of um, Blue Bossa, which is a jazz standard uh, Bossa style piece. And uh, yeah, Matus is joining us from the Netherlands. And uh, so say hi when you hear this, Matus. And uh, Andres is uh, joining us from Madrid in Spain um, on violin. Um, and then we've got Oliver Eve joining us on uh, on sax. Okay. So uh, we're, they're just uh, having a having a, a chat about how to get the sound working. Um, so yeah, I'm hearing uh, uh, some bass noises. Uh, I've heard some uh, noises from Andres as well, and Oliver as well. Googie is a random person who's joined us, so hello as well. So we're going to do Blue Bossa. Um, so if everyone can make some noise into their mics and um, say hello and uh, and play some bass noise, Matthews, um, and then Andres uh, could uh, make some fiddle noise. I think he's going to make some fiddle noise. And then I'll, uh, Oliver, if you could uh, play some sax noise as well, that'd be great. I can't hear Oliver at the moment. Make sure you've got your record enable button and uh, the record monitor button. Ah, I think I briefly heard Oliver and then he disappeared. Good. Okay, so maybe turn up your gain. Yeah, no, don't bother. I'll turn up this. Okay, so I'll turn up the people I want to hear lots of. Yeah, I can hear some fiddle coming out now. Oliver's back. Uh, it's just Oliver we're waiting to get some uh, audio from. Just takes a little bit of time sometimes to get uh, these settings going well. Yep, get some good noises from. Yay! Okay. So, yeah, essentially, when you see these uh, signals coming here, this is us uh, having our musicians joining the session. Um, Oliver has not quite got his audio working somehow. Um, okay, so that's uh, the way it goes sometimes when you're doing things live. Okay, so yeah, so we have a go. Um, uh, we won't have Oliver this time, but let's have a go. Blue Bossa, um, without Oliver to start with anyway. Two, one, yeah, not just now, not just now. I got the count wrong. So when we're counting in, it's quite tricky to get the counting right. Uh, I'm wanting to count in one, a two, a one, but I don't do it yet. So I want to count in like that. So that means we need to count back seven from the last number. 64 is the last number, so we need to do 64 minus 7 gives us 57. So I'm going to do 1 on, on 57. Here we go. 1, 2, a 1, 2, 3, 4.
ahead. Yeah. Psycho. The last chord. Okay, thank you very much. So that's um, essentially uh, us making music in Ninjam and how you set that up. So apologies for the uh, strange noises. So yeah, Matus, could you uh, say hello to people uh, and say where you are? That'd be awesome. I'm not sure if they'll hear you though. So it might be surplus to requirements but yeah thank you very much um for for the ninjam session guys uh much appreciated um so we didn't manage to get uh, uh noise from the sax today but uh another time uh we would have time to debug uh more but uh when you're making things making music live tricky business uh to uh tricky to achieve okay so that's um how we do it in terms of ninjam uh, you can disconnect from a server there and everything. Um, so once you've disconnected, uh, everyone will disappear from this area here and everything. And then you can close that and so on. Um, and yeah, this this project itself is, uh, is running. Um, and you can save that project for next time and such like. Okay, so that's how you set up a NinJam uh, stop sharing. So, yeah, I hope you find this uh, instructive and, and helpful on how to make music online. As you can see, uh, you know, something like Jamulus is uh, really great for just uh, connecting with people, uh, making music um, and, you know, making new musical acquaintances uh, when, when you're not, um, you know, demonstrating uh, something uh, like, uh, you know, doing a public stream. Um, essentially, uh, you know, it's, it's really great for, for meeting new people uh, and uh, jamming with them. And, uh, you know, if you uh, want to make music with a friend, you go to a session that's empty. And if there's more than one person in there, uh, other people will join from uh, different places and you can make music. So um, it is possible to make private servers in Jamulus. It's possible to use something like Sonobus. Um, Alex South has used that for uh, making music uh, with, you know, people um, from around, uh, you know, nearby uh, areas. It, it seems to work well as well, and it's just as easy as Jamulus to set up um, and uh, potentially can be more private more easily. Um, if you're wanting to use Jamulus uh, privately, um, then it's a little bit more complicated. But um, I would recommend getting started in this type of thing by just making some music publicly in Jamulus uh, servers uh, that are already there and free to use. Uh, Jamulus is free software and uh, get the appropriate equipment and get going because it's really worthwhile in these days of uh, finding it hard otherwise to make music. So Yes, thank you very much for your time. And uh, apologies for the uh, dodgy feedback and the lack of uh, sound from the Ninjam session. But uh, the Ninjam, Ninjam session, uh, I, I turned around my headphones, so maybe you could just about hear roughly what was going on. But basically, I started, and nobody started with me because there's a delay of 64 beats until other people can hear me. So essentially, uh, after... Um, the delay had happened, other people joined in and played their thing. And then when I finished, 
it took uh you know there was a delay of 64 beats before other people um finished and therefore um there's that kind of uh, interesting delay going on, which is quite mind-bending when you've got multiple musicians uh, wanting to solo and different people hear different delays from different people in different orders. Uh, it's a really interesting uh, musical experience, um, which is very much worthwhile uh, to experiment with. So uh, yeah, do do have a shot of that if you want to. But uh, as I say, for uh, something like, um, you know, rehearsing, um, try first of all uh, something like a generalist uh, live server and it's really easy to get going on um it's very important not to use wi-fi and to use the wired ethernet and to use wired headphones and uh, you know you need to have a, a external sound card for best results because of the latency the fact that external sound cards um you know if they're made by someone uh, established like Focusrite or Motu, various different sound car manufacturers, uh, they then you'll end up with um, sound which is uh, going to be uh, a lot better and uh, a lot faster in terms of latency. So that's what we're after. And uh, we, we hope uh, to uh, hear about your musical exploits online. Um, so yeah not everybody uh, will want to get into this thing but i would highly recommend it because getting into this is essentially the the best way of making music at the moment um uh because you know you you can respond to people in real time um with jamulus uh there are other things like sonobus to try as well as i say so i uh, do have a shot and uh you know uh it's it's don't get discouraged as well it's hard uh, and uh, you will have moments where someone can't connect like uh, happened with the saxophone today um but uh, you know uh, a bit of a uh, bit more time required for error debugging uh, than uh, than is available today obviously but uh, you know being patient and working hard uh, at getting the audio um working so you can make real music and concentrate on the music not the technology that's uh that's what you want to get into the position of as soon as possible in the current times, I reckon. So thanks very much for your time and uh, catch you another day.